circles of catechesis. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hello viewers. Happy Sunday to you all. This is Youth Corner in Echoes of Catechesis. We are here to reflect on the readings of today, which is 28th Sunday of the Ordinary Time. I am Gilo Tangod by name. Here with me are... I'm Messi Andrew. I'm Odubolu Prudent. I'm Matawa Blessing. We would love you to join us to go through the readings of today before we reflect on them. First reading. A reading from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 7, verse 7 to 11. I pray and understanding was given me. I call upon God and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to sceptres and thrones, and I accounted wealth as nothing in comparison with her. Neither did I liken to her any priceless gem, because all gold is but a little sand in her sight, and silver will be accounted as clay before her. I love her more than health and beauty, and I choose to have her rather than light because our radiance never ceases. All good things came to me along with her, and in her ends uncounted wealth. Second reading. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 to 13. The word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And before him no pressure is hidden, but all are open and laid bare to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Mark chapter 10, verse 17 to 30. At that time, as Jesus was setting out, on his journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. Do not kill. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defer. Honor your mother and father. And he said to him, Teacher, all this I have observed from my youth. And Jesus, looking upon him, loved him and said to him, You lack one thing. Go, sell all you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. At that saying, his continent fell, and he went away sorrowful. For he has great possession, and Jesus looks around and said to his disciples, How hard it will be for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were amazed at his words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how hard it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eyes of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And they were exceedingly astonished and said to him, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are possible with God. Peter began to say to him, Behold, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel who will not receive its hundredfold now in this time 
houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution and in the age to come in eternal life. Now we have heard the readings. We want to go into reflecting on them. The desire of God is for us to attain the kingdom of God. Like the rich man in the gospel that went to ask Jesus what he would do in order to inherit the kingdom of God. He told him that he should obey the commandment of God. And the man answered him, he has been doing that since he was a youth. Jesus saw that he was lacking something, so he told him that he should give out his possession, everything he has, to the poor. After this, the man became sober. He felt bad, thinking that if he's able to give out everything he has, what will become of him? What are we attached to? Most especially, things we are attached to that are contrary to the ways of God. For these things say as barrier to attain the kingdom of God. I want to base my reflection on the first reading, talking about wisdom of God. The first reading makes us to understand that whatever thing we do in life, we need to apply the wisdom of God. Because the reading tells us that wisdom is profitable more than wealth. And whatever thing we are doing without the wisdom of God, I don't think we can go anywhere. And we need to apply the wisdom both in our spiritual life and in our social life. Because wisdom is profitable more than wealth. And Solomon asked for wisdom. Instead of asking for wealth and whatever thing, he asked for wisdom. And God gave him the wisdom. Thereafter, other things follow suit. So as youths, we need to seek the wisdom of God in prayer so that every other thing will follow suit. The readings of today makes us to understand that in order to attain the kingdom of God, we have to make a lot of sacrifices. Just as in the gospel, when Jesus asked the rich man to go and sell all his properties and give them to the poor in order to inherit the kingdom of God. As youths, we need to make a lot of sacrifices. Let us not just walk out on God like the rich man in the gospel. As youths, let us be ever ready to let go of the things we are attached to in order to inherit the kingdom of God. And if we are finding it difficult to let go of the things we are attached to, let us seek God in prayer that he may give us the courage to do so, for with God all things are possible. From the readings of today, we are made to understand God's commandments are important to us. As youth, we are encouraged to obey the commandments of God. We are also encouraged to allow the word of God to lead and direct us in all that we do. Thanks for watching and remain blessed in Christ Jesus.